Good morning from the Roosterland Observatory. In this video, I'm going to show you the workflow for imaging the sun with the Dwarf 2. Uh, this is the Dwarf app. I'm going to connect to the Dwarf. Took a bit longer than usual, but it found the device. Connection successful. Connecting to the camera. And there we are. And there is the sun. Double click. Come on. Okay, it doesn't want to go to it. It thinks we're close enough. I don't know why the dwarf was misbehaving, but here's the sun, and uh, we don't need the telephoto lens anymore. Uh, one two hundred. Oh boy, it's a beautiful set of sunspots. This is thirty three fifteen. This is 3310, 3312, 3313, uh, 3311, 3314. Double click to focus. Uh, video. I'd like to take about a one minute video, but before we do that, uh, let me see if I can center the sun. and put it on uh, sun tracking mode. Uh, I'd like to record about a minute. I prefer to record a video and then stack the individual frames instead of using burst or taking lots of individual frames. Uh, plus taking a video with the one two hundredths of a second exposure uh, allows for lucky imaging so that there'll be more frames in focus with a bit of luck as the atmosphere between us and the sun uh, humidity in it is going to cause some some distortion and dispersion so we're coming up on one minute of capture. That should be enough. Next step is to enable MTP mode. There it is. Which now allows me to uh, Open the file explorer and uh, look at the dwarf. And there's the file. I'm going to grab it onto the desktop. Done with that. I'm going to order pip, open pip, source file.
and we're going to drag the file off the desktop there it is input options debayer the images processing do not convert color to monochrome enable cropping I leave quality option alone and then output I'd like the output to be in raw and compressed and then uh, do the processing and this is what uh, the processed file looks like the Sun is uh, centered So next for us is going to be going to AstroSurface and loading that file. Open the AVI. It's on the desktop. And there it is. Open. First thing to do is to uh, determine that we are going with RGB color here and then go to register. Detect a planet, uh, double click on it. I like to stack about 20% uh, of the images so we're going to analyze nice thing about Astro Service is it shows you it numbers the steps you need to go to one two three four and then five and it highlights the next one that you need As a piece of free software, AstroSurface does uh, quite a bit. So we have done the analysis. Now it is a matter of uh, putting the alignment points. Can go with the default or in the case uh, here, there is the default 48 and then stack before Astro Surface I would have used Auto Stackert for these images we're done uh, next step is to edit and uh, we close this file we're editing this one this is the stacked image at this point I like to start with levels to allow me to uh, adjust the intensity of the levels and then uh, it's up to you if you like to align RGB or not, aligning the channels. It asks for region of interest. And then uh, OK. And then to the wavelets. This is where the fun begins. Resetting the wavelets. Uh, it does require, again, identifying a region of interest. And within that region of interest, I start with the noise pre-filter. Pre and then uh, the high frequency wavelets. This is a bit too much. That should do. And then I adjust the strength down to 100. And let's see what it does to uh, the entire uh, sun. This is what we ended up with. 
uh, pretty much the final product. Uh, if you want to adjust these further, then by all means, you can get some more detail. The low frequency wavelets are going to add even more detail to the sun. And then it becomes a matter of preference as to uh, what you consider natural versus unnatural in this case. Uh, the artifact around the edge of the sun, uh, you can always try to get rid of it by uh, using Photoshop or something similar. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. And then uh, file, save the image. And you can save it either as a TIFF or as a JPEG. Uh, I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And uh, that concludes this uh, workflow. Hope you liked it. And... Uh, And so long from the Rooster Inn Observatory.